नमस्कार दोस्तों शिपिंग पाठशाला में एक बार फिर आपका स्वागत है वेलकम टू शिपिंग पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर डी एन मौर्य टूडे आई शेल टॉक ऑन बिल ऑफ लैडिंग बिल ऑफ लैडिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट इन शिपिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम बींग कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ कैरेज दिस इज ऑल्सो नीडेड फॉर पेमेंट बिटवीन बायर एंड सेलर इन इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस स्पेशली वेन द पेमेंट इज थ्रू लेटर ऑफ क्रेडिट so in this session we will discuss about how the bill of lading is generated what are the information it contains what is the function of bill of lading and what are the types of bill of lading starting with how the bl is generated the when the ship comes to the port for loading of the container or cargo the loading starts and on completion of the loading the shipper has to submit a document to the ship we call it shipping note shipping note will contain the details of cargo loaded so when the shipper submits the shipping note to the master of the ship the master or the chief officer on behalf of master will accept it endorse it and he will issue a document we call it mate receipt so mat receipt is nothing but endorsement and acceptance of the shipping note by the shipper after the mat receipt is issued by the master this mat receipt is working only as a interim receipt it means at this stage the shipper is very very sure that is he has got a receipt from the master from the vessel that cargo has been taken on board ship by the master now the shipper will take this mate receipt and go to the shipping office and shipping office will issue the document we call it bill of lading in exchange of mate receipt it means the shipper will surrender the mate receipt issued by the master to the shipping line and shipping line will issue the final document that is known as bill of lading so bill of lading this is a just generally what happens for container vessel in case of bulk vessel there is some deviation some difference that after the cargo is loaded on board ship the shipper will submit the shipping note giving details of the cargo loaded then chief officer will submit will issue the mate receipt on the basis of the mate receipt the master of the vessel will issue the bill of lading sometime master or the owner of the ship authorizes the local shipping agent to issue bill of lading so bill of lading can be issued for the bulk vessel for the bulk cargo either by the master or by the shipping agent working at that place on behalf of master or the ship owner but in case of container vessel this is always issued by the shipping line now bill of lading is issued in three original all the three are the same documents each one will be marked with the stamp by the either printed or marked with a stamp first original second original and third original first original will be going to the consignee the person who is supposed to receive the cargo at the port of discharge second original will be taken by the shipper and third original will be going to the what we call it freight forwarder we say it is the nominated party so the job of freight forwarder or the cha at the port of discharge will be basically to coordinate cargo is cargo is arriving he has to coordinate for discharging of the cargo so third copy will go to the person nominated in the bill of lading so these are the three in addition to this one additional copies can be requested by the shipper from the shipping line shipping line can issue additional copies of bill of lading but that will not be negotiable so they can mark it is not negotiable or sometimes this is not signed so that is not a original original only three copies one copy to the consignee second original to the shipper and third original to the freight forwarder or cha so that is the number of copies now coming to the information available in bill of lading the bill of lading will contain the information of the shipper that is the name of the shipper or shipper shipper company then address phone number email id telex number fax number etc 
Second information will be similarly the details of consignee, who is the receiver of the cargo at the port of discharge, company name, address, phone number, email ID, etc. Third one is about details of the cargo, what cargo is it is, description of the cargo, the number of packets, number of parcels, quantity, either in weight or in number, these are the details of the cargo. Then the fourth information will be about the carrier, which is the name, what is the name of the shipping line, what is the name of the ship on which the cargo is being loaded. Then comes the port of loading, port of discharge. So these are the information which will come in the, in the bill of lading. Now purpose of bill, what is the purpose of bill of lading? The bill of lading solves three purposes. First one, this is a, this is a receipt, receipt given by the ship or the shipping line that cargo is in the custody of the shipping line, of the ship. It means this indicates the cargo has been taken by somebody, by the ship and receipt is with the shipper, so it is very sure that his cargo has been delivered to somebody. Whenever you go to any place, like normally you go even to the shop, let us say you go to the laundry shop, you give a clothes and then you get a receipt. So it means against the receipt you can claim the clothes. So receipt means you are very sure that is I have given this item, this particular item to this person, so he has given me the receipt. So the first one, first purpose of BL is, function of BL is that is serves as a receipt receipt for the shipper that cargo has been handed over to the shipping line or to the ship. Second one, it is a contract of carriage. Contract of carriage for the cargo. It means once BL has been signed, then this will have a contract. It means the shipping line or the ship has to load the cargo carefully, carry the cargo carefully and discharge the cargo at the port of discharge safely and carefully. That is the contract of carriage. See, bill of lading is always signed by the carrier as well as shipper at the port of load. When bill of lading is issued in three copies, all the three copies will have to be signed by the shipping line as well as the shipper. When this reaches to the port of discharge, this has to be signed again by the consignee at the port of discharge. So this is the second function of bill of lading. First one was receipt and second is contract of carriage. Third one, third function of bill of lading is, it is document of title. The person who is owning the bill, he has got a title, he owns the cargo. It means without this particular document, the person cannot take the delivery of the cargo at the port of discharge. So when he goes to the carrier with the bill of lading, indicate that this particular bill is the person whom the cargo belongs to. So document of title, the person holding the document, that is the bill of lading, is owner of the cargo. So now we will come and see how the BL moves from load port to discharge port, what is the function. We will come and see it through, through a flow chart. Now we will see through this flow chart how the BL is transferred from load port to discharge port, that is from the point of seller to the point of receiver. Here you can see this is the load port, that is the load port here shown as A, shipping agent at load port, shipper or seller or exporter at the load port. Right side you can see discharge port shown as B port, then shipping agent at the discharge port and buyer or importer at the discharge port. The seller will bring the goods and then pass it to the shipping agent. Shipping agent will load the goods on port. He doesn't load, he is the coordinating person in between. So through the port he will get loaded the goods on board ship. So at port A, load port, goods will be loaded on board ship and the ship will sail out from here. So goods have been loaded from here, let us say on this ship and then ship will sail out towards port number B, that is towards the B port. Okay, after reaching to the port of B, that is the port of discharge, cargo will be discharged. Now this side what happens, the sailor or the shipper will pass this document, bill of lading to the buyer. 
document reaches to the buyer buyer will approach to the shipping agent shipping agent will recognize the buyer with the bill of lading and then issue a document we call it do delivery order with the help of the delivery order this person can take the custody of the cargo from the custom so that is how the bl works starting from the load port with this one being issued at this point by the master of the vessel or by the shipping line then given to the seller that is the second original he will pass it to the buyer buyer will approach to the shipping agent at the port of discharge so that i am the owner of the cargo that is the document of title the shipping agent gives the delivery order that is noc no objection certificate and delivery of the cargo can be taken from the port by the consignee this bl sometime doesn't go directly to the buyer that is in case the payment is through letter of credit so bl cannot go directly from seller to the buyer it has to go to the bank so in that case seller will submit the document to his bank exporter bank in the country of export so this document will be apart from the bl he has to submit the complete set of document that is invoice packing list certificate of origin bill of lading letter of credit bill of exchange all the documents will be submitted to the exporter bank exporter bank will pass it to the importer bank in the country of importer and there the buyer will collect the document against the payment so this could be payment could be either through letter of credit or this could be against the documentary collection so depending upon the type of payment agreed between buyer and seller document will be passed to the buyer and payment will be coming to the seller that is to the exporter so here after the bl can be taken by the buyer going to shipping agent then get the delivery order and to the custom get the cargo issued cargo delivered to your place order to take the cargo away so that is how the bl is passed from shipper to the importer or to the consignee now coming to different types of bill of lading here we will discuss the types of bill of lading according to the carrier what carrier is being used to transport the cargo from one place to other place so what we call it types of bl as per the carrier responsibility which type of carrier is responsibility the first one is master bl or ocean bl ocean bl means cargo is being shipped by using a ship so whenever cargo moves by the ship a bl is issued we call it ocean bl or master bl this ocean bl is again of six type the first one we call it straight bl s t r a i g h t straight bl straight bl only person named in the bl has a claim to the goods nobody else can take so remember this is a non negotiable bill of lading generally parties having open account can be issued this, this type of open account means this is no problem of payment between buyer and seller any time the cargo can be taken by any person by the by the importer and payment can be made like you go to the shop you have account so no problem you take the take the item whatever you want and payment can be made subsequently so the parties buyer seller having open account they only prefer this type of bill we call it straight bill cargo can be taken by showing proof of identity so delivery of the cargo at the port of discharge custody of the cargo will be taken by the consignee by the importer just by by showing the proof of identity who is he which company he belongs to so he can get the delivery that is the straight bill second type of master bill or ocean bill we call it bearer bill bearer bill when bearer a bill is owner of the cargo the person who has loaded the cargo he is the owner of the cargo so he is known as bearer bill cargo delivered to who ever possesses the bill of lading so again this is a non negotiable both the bills this is the state bill and this is the bearer bill 
both are non negotiable this cannot be passed to anybody else now third type of ocean bill is open bill open bill is the one where you can say this can be endorsed by the consignee so third type of this bill is known as open bill this endorsement of the consignee bill can be transferred to any one that is the name party which is generally predetermined by the bank carrier or importer this particular thing becomes a negotiable this open bill is a negotiable bill fourth one order bill order bill is again a negotiable bill of lading order bill is again negotiable bill of lading so when this is issued bill is consigned to the order of shipper through endorsement by the shipper at the back of bill at the back side of bill of lading the shipper can endorse it to whom this will go that person can take the custody of the cargo that is only after transaction is complete it means this is this is restricted to the payment when payment is received then only the bill can be passed to the person who has been endorsed then comes switch bill switch bill is generally used when there is a middleman involved in between middleman means a person who has got a buyer and seller and connected them he doesn't need a cargo he is only the trader and trying to take the profit take the commission from both of them so he comes in between that becomes a switch bill so what it does the first time the first bill will be issued by the carrier showing this middleman as a consignee and the actual seller as a shipper and then after this this will be changed after the ship sells out this bill will be changed converted into another bill so in the second bill that person the middleman become the seller shipper and the actual consignee actual buyer become the consignee so it is duplicating of the bill the first bill the seller is the actual seller and consignee is the middleman in the second bill consignee become seller and the actual buyer become the consignee so by doing so what happens neither the seller will know about the buyer nor the buyer will know about the seller for both of them that is for the seller the middleman is the buyer and for the buyer middleman is the seller so these are the different types of five types of master bill of lading apart from this one we also use a bill that is the through bill through bill means whenever the ship is taking the cargo not directly but by using two ships offloading the container in between that is let us say loading at navasheva then going to colombo offloading and then transshipping into other vessel then vessel goes to singapore so it is used by transporter using multiple legs of same transport in one country or in multiple countries for example in water transport it could be either a combination of inland water or it could be something multiple sea but in the multiple ships many ships coming from one place transport uh, transshipping in one place in one port and going to the cargo or container goes to the final place so through bill of lading that consignee received the release at the final discharge port would show the same vessel voyage port of load and bill of lading date issued at the initial port of load in between the bill does not change so what happens at the port of transshipment port the master can have a load list the fresh load list can be prepared in the vessel where the container is being loaded there can be separate egm igm fresh egm igm file but bill can remain same to the shipper the bill will be same what has been issued in the beginning at the port of loading so this is all about the master bill you will see now other three types of bill house bill inland bill and multi model transport bill one by now coming to the other types of bill of lading under the same category that is according to the carrier responsibility we have done in detail about the ocean bill now we'll talk about house bill inland bill and multi model transport bill 
coming to the house bill house bill in brief we say hbl hbl is issued by the freight forwarder or nvocc that is the non vessel owning common carrier so this can be issued by freight forwarder on nvocc to the shipper for collecting the cargo from the land and taking it to the port at the port they can convert it into the master bl or ocean bl after loading the cargo or container on board ship and getting the name of the putting the name of the shipper that is the who is the shipper either the freight forwarder will be shipper or he can make the exporter or the actual shipper to be the shipper in the bill of lading so this is a proof of receipt only on the land it means the cargo has not gone on board ship so as long as the cargo is on the land m m s b l can work as a proof of having handed over cargo to the freight forwarder second is inland bl inland bl is issued by the transporter pure transporter they are not in the business of freight forwarding or in nvocc so they can move the cargo from one place to other place on the land only on the land by using either rail transport or by using the road transport by moving the cargo on the land it means they can also take it to the port but they are not the people who are who are who have expertise to load the cargo on board ship so generally when the cargo goes to the port from the land the shipper always appoint a freight forwarder or nvocc and try to get the house bill of lading in house bill of lading generally used for moving the cargo only on the land from one factory to other factory or sometime very rare cases could be from factory to the port and at the port then shipper has to appoint another freight forwarder who can take care of the goods for loading on board ship and getting the master bill of lading third one is the multimodal transport bill of lading or combined transport bill of lading so combined transport bill of lading means the bl has to be issued only by the mto mtos are the company who have got the license from the competent authority in india it is the director general of shipping so they can they have the license from dg shipping to work as a mto when they are working as mto then they can issue the multimodal transport bill of lading it means they can carry the cargo on multiple mode that is on the land it could be combination of rail rail road and the sea transport remember as per the definition of mto they have to use at least two modes of transport the cargo has to be loaded in one country and discharged in another country and then single document complete responsibility under one contract even if they are appointing the subcontract they have to own the responsibility so document will be single document so those who have got the license from dg shipping they can issue the bill of lading as multimodal transport operator they can pick up the cargo right from the factory from the place of the shipper and deliver it to the final port of discharge in between no other bl will be needed so these are the various types of bill of lading apart from this sometime we call it according to the cargo we say that is the what is the quality of the goods received we say clean bl clean bl it means the whatever cargo has come to the ship this is clean it means as declared in the your details in the shipping detail so in that case if master is satisfied he will accept as a clean bl if he is not satisfied some item is broken some is wet some restriction has taken place or cargo is short quantity then in that case master has to issue the unclean bl unclean or foul bl so in case the master has class classed it we also class call it class bl in case of class bl it means cargo received on board ship was not in good shape are in short in quantity so when this goes to the receiver or to the buyer so buyer may not sometime accept it he may reject it or sometime the payment may not be made saying that you have not supplied the goods as per the specification should have been the clean cargo should have been the clean bl so clean bl and unclean bl unclean bl or you say foul bl 
or you can call it as clause bill okay these are the various types of bill of lading we have covered today now with this session is over those who have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel so that we can you can receive the next video without searching for it otherwise you can search my video at the rate dn maurya 9964 or simply shipping part sala by dn maurya you will be able to see all my videos so with this i finish see you in next session till then bye bye